Twins hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are plus 130 on the money line. The Twins are minus 160. Over under, eight and a half runs. The Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 150, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. And the Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Brewers are five and four as a team in Ray's last nine starts. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched and 4.2 strikeouts per game in those games. The Twins are also 5-4 as a team in Ober's last nine starts. He's averaging 5 and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game. So both of these guys are essentially a strikeout per inning kind of guy. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four. The home team's on a four-game winning streak. The favorite is on a four-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. However, the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. It happened in their last three meetings against each other. The over has hit in their last three. The under is 5-4-1. And, and the over 8.5 runs is 6-4 in their last 10. For those who are concerned about the wind, it's blowing from left field to right field at 8.4 miles per hour, so from pole to pole. And the Twins are 6-4 and four against the Brewers in their last 10 meetings between each other. Now, these are the series that they've played between last year and this year. L yesterday, the Twins won 7-5. The game before that, the Brewers won 10-4. The game before that, the Brewers won 7-6. The game before that, the Twins won 4-1. Every one of those games, the home team won. And then the only game that the road team won was the Brewers beating the Twins last year 6-3. So in their last five meetings, the home team is 4-1. Now, overall, the Brewers have dropped their last five games, and they are 4-6 and six in their last 10. The over has hit in their last two games, but the under is 5-4-1 in their last 10 games overall. There's been seven runs, three runs, 14 runs, and 12 runs combined. They scored two runs and a loss, one run and a loss, six runs and a loss, five runs and a loss. For the Twins... The over is hit in their last three games, although the under is 7-3. and three. They are 3-1 and one in their last four and 4-6 four and six in their last 10. Five runs, 13 runs, 13 runs, and 12 runs. Three runs and a win, nine runs and a win, six runs and a loss, seven runs and a win. I'm going Twins with the money line. I'm taking the Twins laying the runs, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.